Aloha and, well, good evening. We're with Miss Piggy, okay? And I've got a selection of food here, and this is an experiment we're gonna do. And this experiment is to be able to find out what parasites in control is because I'm gonna show you in a second. They've been watching this food for a little bit and they're going nuts, they're smelling, okay? And remember, we're talking about parasites here. And we're gonna throw in a variety of food, I'll tell you in a second here, but there's a variety of food. There's bananas in here. Well, let's just go over. Whatever they're gonna these are bananas, this is coconut shavings. Okay, they love all this stuff. These are old bananas. This is molasses feed here with, with corn, sweet potatoes, okay? And of course, we did a video last night on radiation uh, in, in fish. And I bought this just yesterday. And this thing here, we filleted, and we did a real good video to show you about the radiation in fish. Uh, we just went down to the ocean today too and was checking the radiation by the ocean. But I want you to look at this thing. Inside the neck, the mongoose, I had it outside and this thing stinks and flies are all on it and everything. They cleaned off every piece of meat. Look around the ribs right here. Whoa, look at in the neck, around the neck. Okay, the top of the head. They ate every piece of flesh they could get, like right through there. Oh, okay. Now, I'm going to throw this in last. But I want to show you, remember, blood eats blood. These guys are not carnivores. They are, but I don't feed them any flesh at all. They've just been having a vegetarian diet. Okay, but let's see what they want to eat. Remember, this is an experiment. And the experiment is, they can eat anything they want here first. Let's see what parasite is in control first. Is it going to go ahead and be the stinchy carcass they're going to want to eat? Shoot, you wouldn't eat this thing. <laughs> Oof stinks. Ugh, been sitting out in the sun all day. Now, <clears throat> I did this on purpose is because this thing stinks. I want to see, remember, this is not fresh, okay? This is, this is nasty, stinky, full of flies all day, and everything's been chewing off it. I, I'm going to throw up just, of course, I got a glove on because I can't even stand the smell. So I'm going to throw in, okay, all of this, and I'm going to put this in last. But remember, the question is, what do you think is going to be eaten first. And remember, why is that? Is because, remember, these are mind-controlling parasites. And these parasites that live in the body, and you know that they've got a variety of the pig tapeworm, the whatever pig tapeworm they have in them. Okay, remember, they eat off the dirt. Okay? And if you've got a tapeworm in you, okay, that's bloodsucker. And they want blood. And they will drink your blood, okay? Inside your body, even if you don't feed them. But if they smell blood, they go nuts like these guys. Now, remember, this is what they eat mostly. It's sweet potatoes, okay? And this type of cob seed, okay? And it's not organic. It's just basically it's hog food, okay? And I get these up the street. These are Okinawan purple potatoes. And they're full of protein and stuff. So this is what they eat. And these, of course, are free given to us. And I'm just going to throw these in there. Let's see if they want to eat anything. Okay, look, smells it, doesn't even want to look at it. And you know what they want? I'll tell you. And they don't eat meat. Let's throw all that in there. Okay, okay, now they're going to eat that. Okay, now watch what happens. We're going to go ahead, they're going to change tunes here in a sec. I already know what they're going to do. I'm going to throw this one over there. And they're getting a variety of stuff. Look, okay. And the real stinky stuff, you know what they do? They roll in it. They don't eat it, they roll in it first. Now here it goes, watch. I'm gonna throw it way over here. See if anybody wants that. Ah, well let's see. He's choking over there on the dry food because he's eating it too fast. Yeah, look at you. Look at him, he's gonna go throw up. I know, it's stuck in your throat. Run, get it going. Remember, he's got breathing right now. He's got it stuck in his throat, look. I know, you ate the dry, dry stuff too quick, brother. Yeah, you're better now. Dead do. You don't want that fish? She didn't smell it yet. She's, let's see what this one smells. And now she's back. Now she's going to go back to it. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. She can eat anything she wants. And this one hasn't got the taste yet. Because if Nanu knows that she's eating something better than that, then Nanu is going to steal it from her because she's the head alpha there. Okay, look. Ah, listen to the bone crushing. Oh. Okay, now these guys, remember, have better noses than a bloodhound. 
They have stronger jaws than a Rottweiler. These are very, very strong predators. She's 300 plus pounds. Okay, look at them, chewing the bones down, swallowing everything whole. They're scavengers. You eat the pig, remember that. You guys are eating pig, all I can say is this is what pigs do. They eat anything. Rotten, that's rotten flesh. And they're loving it. Look. Get it, Dua. You like that? Oh, they, look, they got potatoes. <laughs> they got, they got, that's sweet full of molasses, real sweet. Okay, and then they've got this stuff. What she was loving is because that's all our leftover salads, just things I know they love. Look, bananas in there. And they went right to the flesh, not because they like it, because the parasites inside them control them to feed. Remember, there's a hierarchy. We talk about this all the time, a hierarchy of parasites. Oh, oh, look at that, going nuts, eating everything down to the bone. There won't be a piece there. That head, I want to see what they're going to do with that. Okay, so this is the game. The game is real simple. Parasites that live in the body have a hierarchy, okay? Sugar parasites eat last because they're lowest on the totem pole. They're yeast, mold, fungus, and candida, just like a person. Remember, what do you eat first at the table? You eat and drink, you eat dead carcass and drink blood. You eat your meat first. Yes, you do. It's the first thing you want on that table. Let's say you haven't eaten in a couple of days, you're fasting, and you put a smorgasbord out there of food. You got sweet stuff, you got cakes, ice cream, you got maybe soups, you got chicken, fish, you got everything out there that you can imagine on a smorgasbord, a variety of food. And remember, the experiment is, okay, Let's see what parasite feeds first. And I know which one will feed first. The ones that eat meat. They are the highest on the totem pole in the body or the hierarchy of mind controlling parasites. They need to be fed. Look at these guys. They're eating every bone, everything, and they've got all this beautiful stuff sitting here and I want it. Okay? And you guys don't even know what that is. Okay? Never even had fish. They've had to throw a rat in there one time and they ate it. It was a dead rat they got off of a. Uh, off a rat trap, and I just threw it in there just to see what they would do. They're pigs, they rolled in it and they ate it and fought over this nasty with maggots in it. And I just threw it in there, I figured, ah, oh, they'll just smell it just because it's an experiment. Remember, pigs, if you're eating pig guys, I can just tell you this, you're making a big mistake. Remember, the pig is the dirtiest animal in the world. It'll eat anything and anything. Remember, a cow only eats grass, okay? It doesn't eat corn or anything or wheat or soy, but it's a vegetarian. You eat animals, okay, that are scrappers, then you get all the parasites that live in the pig. Remember, the pig, tapeworm, is bad R's tapeworm. And, and maybe we'll go ahead and put a picture in this, in, in the video here. The pig tapeworm, if you had pig, and maybe not, it doesn't matter, if you've got an egg and they secrete out two to 300,000 eggs a day, and the pig tapeworm has to go through five different cycles in your body. It starts in your stomach, it goes and bores out into the small intestine to the liver, it goes to the liver, makes a house of babies, and then it goes back into the bloodstream, it goes to your brain, okay? You got lesions in your brain, you got certain things on x-rays, these are the tapeworms. They control different parts of your body by having children that this thing, this alien, goes in different parts of your body. Goes in the liver, makes babies, goes back in the bloodstream, goes into the brain maybe for next, and makes babies. Then once it's made babies in there, remember it's making a colony, it's like a bee. It goes into your heart, makes babies. Goes into your gonads, makes babies. Wow, this thing's a machine. I know. And then it comes back around into your lungs and you, <clears throat> you cough it up, you get cold, you think it's a fever, you think it's, you got a sickness, and this is the last cycle of the pig tapeworm, the last cycle of the beef tapeworm, the last cycle of the fish tapeworm. These things have cycles in your body, they don't just come in your stomach. Okay, we've done lots of videos on this. Now, as you can see, they're getting a little full now, they're not eating as fast. Okay. So, look at, they're chewing down the bones and it has nothing, oh, well they want the calcium. They don't know what calcium is. Remember, they only eat what controls their small, simple, weak, pig-headed mind. They don't question, they don't have critical thinking, not like you think. They don't have a neocortex, no animal does. These things survive, okay? And they will survive out in the wild. Remember, there's more pigs out here than there's anything. These things are destructive animals. They're not even pigs, these are boars. So they eat anything, a dead pig, the only thing is, they won't eat their own kind. A dead pig, they won't eat it. Pretty smart animal. They'll eat anything else that's dead, I guarantee a dead human, okay? They don't eat their own kind. Now look, he's not on the head, oh! And remember, these have huge tusks. Oh! 
Okay, look at the teeth on that thing. And that was an amberjack. If you haven't seen uh, any of the videos on radiation detection in Hawaii, watch all the videos. And then we have another one uh, where we're checking radiation in fish and other areas of Hawaii. But you can see these guys here are being controlled by the blood sucking parasites because that's what they're eating is flesh and blood. And these are the parasites. What you eat is what you are. And remember, they're pig headed little mines. They're called swine for a reason. And that's why a lot of, well, earth humans are called swine. They're called minions, mundanes, okay? You eat the pig and so shall you be genetically modified by the pig and also the parasites that live in the pig. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you. It was a simple experiment. What's gonna feed first? And what's gonna feed first, I'll tell you, okay? Is what is in hierarchy the strongest? No, these tapeworms aren't strong. Remember, they're controlling your mind. They're only giving, uh, well, they're only telling this mind that they live in because they're connected in your neural nets are connected in your nerves and they're telling this animal what it needs to feed first so if you can get that in your head okay remember there's hierarchies of parasites and the one on the bottom of the totem pole you should guess and see what it is what do you think it is at the end of your meal what do you want you eat chicken steak potatoes fried whatever okay maybe you're going to have a big salad maybe you're going to have whatever okay but what do you want after you're done with your meal dessert and what is it sweet you just had two plates of food what you're going to you're making room for what no the parasites at the bottom of the uh, of the of the system yeast mold fungus and candida they need to feed and they are patient no they're not they are in a hierarchy, and those that are fed are now satisfied, and they will feed again, okay? But the ones that haven't been fed are what? Feeding last. And that's why a lot of people put sugar in their foods. So it, it's like you don't have dessert. You're all, you feel very satisfied, okay? Sour, pungent, okay? Sweet, okay? These are all some of the things that, that, that give you satisfaction. Okay, when you eat, it stops you from feeling like you want any more because you had the sweet, the sour, the bitter. Okay, you had all these things present in your food. That's why you put condiments on stuff. This is the reason being. Sometimes you like spicy, whatever it is. So these guys here, remember, they're not controlled by what we like. They are controlled by what lives inside them. And end of story. So I just wanted to show you. They won't even stop. And look, they're pigs. They will eat until everything's gone. And they're not fighting over this. is because the fish split in two. If not, Nanu would go ahead and not let her daughter here, who's about two years old, Nanu's about seven, and she's pretty skinny right now, <clears throat> okay? I've been thinning her up because she was a fat pig before, as you can say, <laughs> obese pig. So um, we're gonna let her go in the wild pretty soon, and she's like seven. I'm not sure how much longer, but she's not the best now anymore as far as her psychology. And, and remember, you are what you eat, you are what you say, you are what you drink, you are what you do. So be careful of that and understand that if you eat the pig and they eat genetically modified food, like wheat, corn, soy, that's been genetically modified, the genetic modification of that food they're eating, which is not natural to them, okay, is now genetically modifying all of their body. And if you eat the flesh, now the genetically modified organism that's genetically modified and or, well, changed their cellular structure, their original DNA. When you eat it, it does it to yours too. It goes down the line, it doesn't stop. Let's say, real quick, and we'll stop this video just so you understand it, look. Let's say this part here, we're growing all organic food, okay? We're not using pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and we're using all heirloom seeds. Now, and let's say we're just doing organic corn or soybeans or whatever it is, and the guy next door in the farm, because this is how it works, this farm next door uses pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides, and fungicides right next door. And I'm talking that, that fence line. And those seeds blow into this place, and they hybridize all the heirloom seeds in this side of the garden. And now you don't have any real natural seeds anymore. It's because the genetically modified seeds keep on genetically modifying. They don't know when to stop. And so everything that eats them, or any time it grows, it changes. That seed basically now becomes the hierarchy. This is why I don't like genetically modified food. So if you are what you eat, say, drink, and do, then definitely I would not, if you're eating flesh, eat the pig. Okay, I went from, from swine down to beef when I was cutting. Remember, I was sick. I had a tumor the size of a, of a tangerine in my 
I start cutting it down. I figured out nothing more than I poisoned myself by trying to be a bodybuilder, by eating all this meat, all these eggs, okay, all this drinking all this stuff, eating all this stuff to try to gain weight because that's what they said you do, Arnold Schwarzenegger's book. Okay, that's what they said you do with professional bodybuilders. Eat two pounds of meat, okay, two cans of tuna a day, 10, 20 eggs, gallon of milk, bunch of sugar. Okay, and all it did would mess me up. Gave me kidney stones, gallstones, gave me intestinal problems. So I had to rebuild myself and I stopped everything. I just went down from, from pork to beef to chicken to fish, okay, to things without a face, shrimp, okay, that was the last one. And then I went to scallops and I went to mollusks, okay, and this is basically going down and then I cut off all flesh. And that's good for you to do for 180 days. So you can give your blood parasites a rest. But you can see Miss Piggy has blood parasites right now because they're still eating the fish and they have all this good stuff down there that they love when I throw it in there. Mm, thank you, thank you. And they're singing love because I'm giving them this stuff right here. Okay, and I usually give them about 30 potatoes. I just gave them a few just to go ahead and do the experiment. And of course, oh, those were all bananas and they love bananas. And you can see there's no grass in here because they eat grubs. They put their nose in the ground and they eat all grubs, vegetarian stuff, but you can see they will not. We have, and it's not Arby's. <laughs> we got it right here. And Miss Piggy, she's telling you, she likes the meat. No, her parasites like the flesh. So anyways, I hope that you got this parable. And the parable is real simple. Which parasite feeds first when you sit down to eat? What do you eat first? What do you like first? And what do you eat last in your meal? Okay, so anyways, just food for thought, rethinking reality. And remember, it's always good for you to sort of observe your actions. Why do you do what you do? Okay, when you know, first of all, you shouldn't do it. That's more not an addiction. It's remember, you should ask the question, why am I doing this when I know I shouldn't? That's all. Anyways, we'll see you next, guys, guys. And again, they love it, and it's rotten. Okay? It's rotten. Swine, of course, as a lot of religions say, it's the dirty. Eat anything. Anything. Look, now they're going to start fighting over it. <laughs> and then he's, she's the alpha. Look. It, and she'll, look, there they go. Okay. This is, I knew what was going to happen, see? And Nanu's going to say, no, I got the head, man. Could have ate it before. And look, she's going to swallow this thing because, and she will not go ahead and mess with her because she'll turn around and bite her and, and, and bark at her. Watch. Get him, Dua. And she knows her place, the little one. Remember, it's hierarchy in the pigville, too. And she's getting all nervous. Look, yeah, I know you got potatoes. Looking for more blood. Oh, she's got a tail. Yeah, Nanu, I know. You're the alpha pig here. And you do eat first in this pen. And your parasites that eat in your body, they want to eat first. And they're the blood. Oh, stinks. Okay, still. Is that good? Alright, again, I don't feed them flesh, they don't even know what it is, but for some odd reason, something inside them saying, give it to me and I will get it. As you can see, remember, they're pig-headed. So, okay guys, that's it. Aloha. <laughs>